Hello, hello, welcome to another Tableau video. I have actually got a brand new toy. I've got a new Sennheiser headset, which means for the first time ever, I can actually use the keyboard on my, on my laptop. So it's gonna be an amazing experience today, for me especially. So what I'm gonna teach you today is how to do joins. And if you don't know what joins are, if you've done a VLOOKUP, you've done index in Excel, that's basically a join. It's connecting two types of information, or two, sources of information together with something using something in common so for example if i did a vlookup between this one and this one right and i pulled everything where it matches over orange is going to appear over here apple's going to appear over here right because i'm using the names to match okay for the ones that don't match it'll just say na what's that error type hashtag na right and if I'm only looking at the ones that match, it's called an inner join. If I want to pull out everything, including the ones that didn't have results, it's called a left join, because this is on the left side, this is the right side. Then if I want to pull out everything in this side that matches, including the ones that don't match, then it's a right join. And if I want to include everything, it's called a full outer join. So um, there's a bit of theory into it uh, that you should look into if you don't completely understand. I'm not gonna go into the full definition of joins. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Tableau instead. So this is actually just one Excel spreadsheet. I just viewed it on two different uh, windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our Mr. Tableau over here. And I'm gonna load that data set in and then we're gonna do the join. Okay, let's just get rid of this, ask me to update. Okay, I'm just gonna save this, close this, close this. I don't know what that is, All right? And we're gonna go Excel. All right, and it's in my downloads it's called join test. Very creative, All right? And these are my two data sets here. So I can go and bring the first one in, okay? And I wanna connect the second one. So if I bring the second one and drop it in here, right? It's automatically gonna join. Sometimes if the field names are the same, right? In this case, it's name and name. It's automatically gonna detect and put it together. But say one is called name and the other one's called first and last name. Well, then sometimes you have to set it. So to set your join, you simply use the left side, so the join one, right, this side here, right, and select from here what field you're gonna to use to match them together. Now you can do multiple joins. So if you say you wanna match their first name and their last name separately, right, or you wanna match their name and their address or their suburb and their postcode, you can do multiple joins, right? And simply by selecting here and here, uh, using these, you can actually select which one's your inner join, left join. So if I do a pure inner join, it's only gonna bring me data where th there's a match. So you can see here, Jed and Jed match, Alex, Alex. It's not bringing in anything that didn't match to anything, right? So let me bring up that other data set again. Let's go join test. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, if I do an inner join, it's not gonna really, it's not gonna show Michelle, Richard, and Doug. If I do a left join, it's gonna bring those in, right? Let's bring the other one in. It's gonna bring in, actually, this is the wrong way, right? It's gonna bring in the ones that didn't match. So you're gonna see Peter, Michelle, and Petra, but you're not gonna see any results because nothing matched up, right? And the opposite goes if I pick right, okay? It's gonna show the ones that didn't match on the right side. And if I do full outer, it's just gonna include everything for me, okay? And that's pretty much how I do a join. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.